Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to show you a uh, big Bath & Body Works uh, semi-annual sale haul and also um, Ulta's after Christmas sale. They were right next to each other in the shopping mall that I go to, the outside shopping mall, uh, the promenade that I go to. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a bunch of things I got. Um, I'd actually been meaning to get to Ulta sooner but it just it hasn't happened so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my ulta haul first okay so the first item i got was this purify pores radiant self-love biore rose quartz and charcoal purifying cleanser and gentle pore refining scrub so that's what this looks like um, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I just kind of been needing more of a cleanser. I get a lot of the foaming cleanser cleansers from those Japanese box subscriptions. Um, and I just really needed something that was just kind of more of a, um, not just an exfoliant, but just kind of more of a, like, like a, just kind of more of an exfoliating cleanser, if that makes sense. Um, just cause I have, I get a lot of masks and I get a lot of the foaming cleansers, but I just don't have a lot of the cleansers that are for more, um, combination skin um so i saw the scrub and the cleanser so this will be nice um to try out so there is that okay so um the next one i have here which i thought this was kind of cool and this this is the tony moly um peach peach punch sweet cream foam cleanser. I have the large version of this in my shower, um, but I've never seen this gift set and they have, um, like facial wipes and then they have, um, looks like toner right here. Uh, oh, cleansing water. So this is kind of nice. So I just thought this was kind of cool. This was like about six, 15, $16. Um, and it's a Korean product, which they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So it is kind of what it is, but I just thought this was, um, a great product for travel uh just having some facial wipes which i need and just like some travel sized facial cleanser and cleansing water which i've never tried their cleansing water or facial wipes so i just decided to pick this up so there's that and the next items i picked up these were 50 percent off these are their limited edition holiday line uh are the ogx uh by uh, nicole guerrero uh and their limited edition midnight kisses i've gotten their other some of their other scents like i think i had like a sugar cookie uh i'm currently using spiced cider which i picked up a bunch of these last january or late december and i still have a couple um but i haven't gotten this midnight kisses so i was kind of cool it's kind of cool to see these so i picked up these guys um yeah, it doesn't have like a super like holiday-ish scent. It just has kind of like, yeah, warm vanilla and orange blossoms and sugar canes. It just kind of has a nice sweet scent. Not particularly like piney or like vanilla-y or any sort of like holiday particular scent. But um, it does smell really nice. It could be used any time of the year. So that's why I picked these up. They're half off each originally $8.99 so they are $4.97 each um so there's that okay so the next one I have here is this new yes to watermelon light hydration super fresh facial wipes and I was in some serious need of facial wipes so I decided to get these and they actually smell like watermelon I got some watermelon facial wipes at um Ross and they didn't smell like really anything <laughs> But these have a nice watermelon scent to them. So, you know, if you really like scents, then you'll like this. But if you don't like scented facial wipes, you may not like this. So just a heads up. So there's that. And this, this has, I'm not sure how many, uh, uh, 40 wipes. Because that's a decent amount. I mean, I don't, I mean, honestly, sometimes like I only use part of one to wipe my eyeliner. So I'll, you know, so I could use it a couple times if it's still moist. Um, so they last me far longer than that. Okay, and I got two of them. I think it was like a buy one, get one 50% off, so I just picked up two. 
And another holiday kit I got was this and uh, this NYX or NYX butter gloss. And this is a three pack here. This was $4.97. So there's this three pack. I just really like these because I just feel like they're super moisturizing. So this was just kind of a nice find. It, it says it's originally like 10 bucks, which I think is pretty inexpensive still for three of them. Okay. So the last item I got from Ulta and yep, I think that was the last item was this frosted sugar cookie skin smoothing scrub mask. Uh, so this is an exfoliating mask. So it's not like a sheet mask. This, you, I guess you just kind of squeeze it out. Um, and you can kind of feel like the little sugar granules in here. So it's kind of like something you just kind of squeeze out and put on your face. Um, honestly, I'm not, I mean, sheet masks are okay and all, but I just, I just don't really have the patience to sit with one on for like 20 minutes. Um, I mean, I'll wear them once in a while, but it's just not something I'll use regularly. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. This was $2, so this is like a dollar off. So there's that. That is my Ulta haul. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the Bath and Body Works. This was about $50 or $60 at Ulta for this stuff here. And uh, Bath and Body Works, I spent like... 75 so it was like 85 before the ten dollars off coupon i had uh gotta save some money um but they were having their three wick candles on sale for i think 1050 so i decided to eat that up because that doesn't happen very often um, but yeah so the semi-annual sale is going on right now it always happens right after christmas so head on over there if you have, haven't already and you need to get some bath and body works items it's a really good time to do so Okay, so let us, let's start with the candles. Okay, I got four of them. I was tempted to buy more, but then I'm like, yeah, I gotta stop myself. Okay, so the first one I got here is the Ski Lodge Hot Cocoa and Cream. I just really like the scent of hot chocolate, like sm smell body wash or lotion. And I have like some of my, in my shower right now. I just love the smell of this. Like it's, you know, perfect for just winter time. It doesn't necessarily have to be just during Christmas. I mean, or the holidays. This is really good just for like um like the winter time or the colder months. So this, this smells really nice. And it's not like overly chocolatey. <sighs> kind of has a nice like woody wooded smell to it and that top is super cute. So there's this one. I'm gonna wrap that back up. Alright, next one. Okay, the next one, I don't know if this is really holiday, but um, this is the cereal marshmallow bar. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I actually went to a cereal bar restaurant-y type. Okay, so I um, I have been to like a like a cereal bar before and that was actually in um los angeles they had this cool cereal bar and they like you can like make all kinds of different like uh combinations and they have all kinds of different milks and they have all kinds of these like cool cereals that you nece wouldn't necessarily see in the store so it's kind of like the cereal bar and it was like a little bit pricier than when obviously we make pay making cereal at home but it was kind of a cool concept um so i got this uh cereal marshmallow bar it's purple inside which i thought was kind of interesting so like it has a very like fruity pebble scent it smells like fruity pebbles mm -hmm. that's exactly what it smells like it smells like fruity pebbles yeah okay <laughs> so there's that i just thought that was kind of interesting and like fun and different um that was the only one I saw, so I don't know if it's like a holiday thing or if I, they just ran out, but that's the one they had. Alright, so the next one we have is the Marshmallow Fireside. I think I actually might have something like this at home already. I'll have to go look, but oh, this smells so good. Like this just, just smell, has a very woody, like fresh campfire scent to it. And I think this this was of a holiday scent, but this works anytime during the winter. So there is that. And they always have these like cute little lids. They didn't always have these, but the last couple of years they've had like these cool like lid designs. So there's that. 
There we go. We've got the next one. Okay, the last one we have here is this Paris Cafe Olate. And there we go. Paris Cafe. Mm. It smells like walking into a coffee shop. I, I used to work at Starbucks years ago, and that's kind of what it smells like. Like a coffee shop that maybe sells pastries. That's exactly what this kind of it has like this very caramely like coffee bean type of scent to it. <sighs> smells really nice. So that's really nice. I, I think it kind of looks like this was, yeah, this was, I guess, a holiday one. Um, that's kind of nice to see something that's not just like pine or woodside or snow or, you know, those usual ones. Kind of nice to see something different like this. So this smells really nice. I was excited about this one. Okay, that's it for my candles. So the next bag here. All right, so the next one we have is this Frosted Holly shower gel. I like to stock up in the shower gels. I actually still have some from last year, so I just have so many. Um, it smells like a holiday wreath, but with like sugar or something. Yeah, it's like pine, but with like citrus. Like that's kind of what I get from it. I like kind of the citrus note. Okay, here we go. Fresh magnolia, zesty grapefruit, and sycamore wood. Okay, that explains it, the grapefruit. I can definitely smell the grapefruit. Yeah, so that smells really nice. I like things that have citrus scent. it. Like, I love perfumes that have citrus scents. Uh, they just smell really nice. I don't know, that's just me. Anyway, um, all right. So the next one is this jasmine. Um, my blooming jasmine. I saw the lotion and I'm like, you know how a lot of times you go to the Bath and Body Works and they don't like have the shower gel or something. You see a bunch of lotions and they don't have any shower gel. So I just kind of scoured through the bins because they had like 75% off, 50% off, what have you. And I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find the shower gel. And sure enough, I did find a shower gel in the Blooming Jasmine just because I have way too many lotions. I cannot get through all of them. So the body wash is more likely to get through so i decided to get the body wash okay so let's smell this it has a very yeah so this doesn't have a very strong scent it's a very light scent like a very light floral tea scent yeah the fragrance stones are jasmine flower white musk and apple blossom so yeah it's a very light scent so it's not like heavily scented on this one but it smells nice so there's that Okay, so I got some more hand soaps. Um, so I got this one in winter. I don't think I've picked this up before. Oh, I, just, I just really love, I mean, I, I know I was just like knocking like the pine and the winter scents, but I really do love the pine and winter scents, but I just try to try different things. Um, I just, yeah, I love this. Just It just really just makes it feel like winter time uh, with smelling this on your hands. Um, so this has spiced orange balsam and orange and clove buds. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely get the pine from this and I love the pine smell, but you know, sometimes it's just like you like to try different things, but I figured I'd pick this up cause I didn't do it with my last haul. I didn't see that. So, um, sometimes when you go to different bath and butter, so you see different things and during certain sales, they'll bring out different stuff. Like some more of their like staple items like um the black amethyst or the sensual amber or more like og scents but they don't always have them so it's a good time to stock up on those okay and then another one i got is this arctic arctic berry and i haven't seen this one before this must be new okay yeah so it has like that kind of wintry scent but with like a sweet smell to it so snow kiss berries, ice pomegranate, and cedar wood are the notes of this. So it's not like overwhelmingly fruity, but it's pretty fruity, if that makes sense. Okay. So I actually picked up some wallflowers. I put one up already. I got the hot cocoa one and I put that up just because the, the room needed it. Um, but I also have the citrus spice. Uh, yeah, citrus and spice. And I also got this in the hand soap in my last haul. So I got this guy. And they were all, I think, two for five? No. 
there was there were pretty yeah i think though no they were two for six i think something like that um and so i got the winter one it's a good time of year for that and then the sensual amber this is another OG scent I was just telling you about but yeah I just I plugged one in already um, but they're cheap right now they're like two for six bucks so if you want to go pick one up I have my receipt okay so the next one I got and this was on the 50% off section this is the pumpkin everything antibacterial foaming mousse hand sanitizer so perfect for next year it'll probably last let's see is it going to come out? Um, there we go. Okay. All right. This one, again, this kind of looks like shaving cream. This smells like um, the sweet cinnamon pumpkin um, shower gel that they have. That's what that smells like. Yeah, that smells pretty good. I Honestly, I didn't really pick up too many pumpkin things, I don't think, this year at Bath & Body Works. Um, so that's kind of nice because I just, I'm basic. I like the smell of pumpkin. So yeah. Okay. So this is another item that I got off the 50% off rack next to the register. This is the True Blue Spa Apricot in White Tea. This is their face scrub. I've gotten this before. I think it's another item that they don't always have, but they would always have like years ago and they brought it out. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try that. Oh, God, that smells so good. Mmm. Yeah, that smells really good. Yeah, that, that just that smells amazing. So if you see that in your Bath & Body Works, I would try it. It's it's just, it's kind of like the St. Ives apricot scrub, but I feel like it's not, like, nearly abrasive, as abrasive to your skin as that brand, because I've kind of heard that, like, it's not very good for your skin, the St. Ives, but, like, years ago we'd always use it, so... I think this is a better alternative, so check that out. Okay, yeah, apricot and white tea. I don't really get the white tea, I just smell apricot. Okay, so last item I have here is this winter berry gloss. Um, I guess that's just like um, the uh, Arctic berry, kind of like that. I mean, it kind of has like that color. I'm going to go ahead and try this on because... You know, I really like buying lip glosses from Bath & Body Works because it has, like, the nice fragrance fragrance and it taste, tastes good. Like, it kind of, like, smell, uh, tastes like it should smell, if that makes sense. So, it's good. And try this on. And, you know, they're usually pretty sheer. It's not like they don't really come out, like, purple or, like, this is purple. It doesn't come out purple. Um, but it has like a very tastes like berries it tastes like it tastes like like you know in the 90s they sell like they'd sell a lot of like these flavored lip glosses it kind of smells it kind of tastes like that so i'll show you guys what that kind of like looks like a little bit here so it comes out like purple on my hand but on my lips it's not really like like defining so a little bit you can get okay so you can kind of get a little bit sheen so ignore my bad lip sense job here it's kind of coming and done um but yeah so it tastes nice it tastes kind of good and i i really do like lip glosses that taste good i don't know why it's just a thing that i have okay so that was it for my bath and body works and my ulta haul um let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me know if you guys have taken a trip to either Ulta or Bath and Body Works. If you picked up anything interesting, I'd love to hear about it. And so yeah, it's a good time to um, get that shopping done. I know we're officially into no spend January, so this will probably it uh, be it for a little while as far as my shopping hauls, uh, just because the holidays are kind of behind us now, but um, I still have uh, unboxings coming. Um, I'm thinking I'm ha gonna have some more DIYs. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see more of in the comments below. If there's anything that you like more that you'd want me to do, I'd love to hear about that. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!